Hi guys, welcome to Matsi. I'm here, Miss Resi, your teacher for today. So today we're going to discuss how to find the equation of the circle given a certain condition. Find the equation of the circle in general form with center at 2 and 3 and whose radius is in 3 units. So to answer this, we need the wrapping paper to draw. Next, let's draw the Cartesian plane. Next, let's plot the center. Our center is 2 and positive 3. So, where is positive 2? 1, 2, and positive 3 going up. 1, 2, 3. So, here is positive 2 and 3. The radius is having 3 units. So, we need to count 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. So, that will be our radius. R is equal to 3. And then, you can draw the circle if you will do the different 3 units to the left also. Here. 1, 2, 3. Here. 1, 2, 3. Here. So you need to connect that. It will be looking like this. To solve this, we need to substitute the value from the standard form, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So what's the value of our r? It is 3. Here. And then, what's the value of our h? It's 2. And our k is 3. So let's try to substitute x minus 2 minus y minus k or 3 and the radius is 3 using foil method we get x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 9 addition property of equality x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 equal 0 so what happened here positive 9 transpose it will become negative 9 add it to the positive 9 it becomes 0 now our required equation is this x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 equals 0 next example is finding the equation of the circle with center is negative 1 and 4 and its tangent to the y-axis so to do that let's draw first the partition plane Next is to plot the center. So where is negative 1 in the x-axis here and positive 4 in the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then here is the coordinate negative 1 and positive 4. 
After plotting the center, we need to analyze the word tangent. What do you mean by tangent? Uh, it is a figure that will cross the y-axis at only one point. So here is the y-axis. So we are going to draw a circle that will cross the y-axis. It will be looking like this. So only one point at the x-axis meets the circle. To find the equation of the circle, we need to substitute the values from this standard form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So, where are the h, k, and r? So here our h is negative 1, our k is 4, and our r is, as you can see, it is only one unit. So we have positive 1. So let's substitute x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus 4 square is equal to 1 squared. Let's multiply negative times negative is positive then copy everything 1 times 1 still 1 and get the full method of this x squared plus 2x plus 1 and the other one is y squared minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 1 next to that is addition property and arrange it as well x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 8y plus 16 equals 0 so what happened it transpose positive 1 becomes negative 1 but there's another one here so 1 minus 1 is 0 so automatic cancel record equation for this question is this x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 8y plus 16 equals 0 that's the final so for the third example, the endpoints of a diameter of a circle are negative 2, 3, and 1, 7. And find the equation of the circle in general form. So given the ends of the diameter, which is negative 2, 3, and 1, and 7. This length can be found by using the distance formula. So, what's the distance formula? D is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So, let's substitute. D is equal to square root of x sub 1 which is negative 2 minus x sub 2 which is 1 y sub 1 is 3 minus y sub 2 is 7 squared compute first the equation inside the parentheses negative 2 and negative 1 negative 3 squared plus 3 minus 7 is negative 4 square let's solve inside the parentheses negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 at that we have 9 plus 16 is equal to 
25 and square root of 25 is equal to 5 so that's the distance the diameter of the circle is 5 since the radius of the circle is have its diameter then the radius is 5 over 2 we need to find the coordinates of the center of the circle since the center is the midpoint of a diameter, we use the midpoint formula. x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, comma, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So that is the midpoint formula. Now let's substitute. x sub 1 is negative 2 plus 1 over 2 y sub 1 is 3 plus 7 equal over 2 let's solve the numerator first negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over 2 3 plus 7 is 10 over 2 so our center is negative 1 half 10 divided by 2 is Thus, we have radius of 5 over 2 and center is negative 1 up and 5. Then, the equation of the circle is obtained as follows. After substituting, we need to get the trinomial of this binomial, x squared plus x plus one fourth so that's the value of x plus one half squared and then the second one plus y squared minus 10 y plus 25 so that's the value of y minus 5 squared in when you square 5 halves, it will become 25 over 4. So just distribute the numerator and the denominator. Let's apply the addition property of equality. Let's have x squared plus y squared plus x minus 10y plus 1 fourth plus 25 minus 25 over 4 equals 0 so you just transpose this to this so it becomes negative next let's try to compare like terms copy this first so how do you get the LCD of these three so we have four divided by four is one one times one is still one next four divided by one is four four times 25 is 100 positive four divided by four is one times negative 25 equal zero so x squared plus y squared plus x minus 10 y plus 1 plus 100 is 101 minus 25 over 4 x squared plus y squared plus x minus 10 y 100 minus 25 is positive 76 over 4 equals 0 x squared plus y squared plus x minus 10 y when you divide 76 and 4 it's 19 and that's our required equation